interest in mental health inequality. Today's session is the kickoff, as Rachel mentioned, of a five-part series on inequality, and that series is called Radish. Why Radish? For me, and I'm guessing for many of you, equality is not something that needs to be considered radical. Sure, a society that values, includes, and provides for all people equally would look radically, drastically different. And yes, the path to that kind of society would include radically significant changes, but I truly believe that we should aim for equality, that it's okay to make it a goal, and that our efforts to make society radically more equal should be, well, normal. Rather than equality being radical, then perhaps equality is really just rad-ish. <laughs> As we begin, I want to say thanks to a few people and organizations. Rachel Jefferson and the historic Northeast Midtown Association have been a tremendous partners to coordinate the series with. Donations have also made it possible for us to have Spanish interpretation, hi Rodrigo, to print flyers, to post Facebook <coughs> ads, and to have a few refreshments. So, Thank you to Community Health Council of Wyandotte County, Healthy Communities Wyandotte, the KU Sociology Department, Historic Northeast Midtown Association, Wyandotte Health Foundation, and Latino Health for All for the headsets for interpreting. And thanks to Joshua, Jesse, Zlata, Shelley, Karina, and Amanda, and anyone else who I've missed for your help. Last but not least, I would like to say a big thanks to the library for making this space available for community gatherings just like this. Today, our focus is mental health. As you may know from experience or observation, our society does not value, include, and provide for everyone equally, regardless of their mental health. What's more is that we criminalize people based on their mental health experiences, behaviors, and diagnoses. Our speakers today will talk more about this. As I speak, I want to encourage you to notice how you are responding to what you hear. What comes to mind? What questions come up? On each seat, I've, we've placed a sheet of paper that you are invited to use to jot down questions. And there are extra pens available at the back, just ask Jesse. After the speakers have shared, we'll have a facilitated discussion, which has two parts. The first will be an opportunity to share your initial reactions with the two or three people seated near you. And then we'll have come back to the large group and have a chance to interact with our speakers. Our speakers today are Donovan Gardner and Mark Weedy. I am so grateful for their willingness to share with us today and I appreciate the work that they've put in over the last month in preparation. Donovan Gardner is an author and speaker and an advocate who strives to bring awareness to issues of mental health. He works as a peer support specialist for SIDE in journeys with people who are affected by mental illness. Mark Weeby is a former reporter for the Kansas City Star and the former director of public affairs for Wyandotte Inc., the organization that oversees Wyandotte County's safety net mental health services. For more than two decades, he's observed and written about the county's struggle to lift itself out of poverty. Please join me in welcoming Donovan and Mark. <laughs> 